Alright guys, it's Storm and we're back with Experiment 47, Benzocaine. Um, you will be using esterification and crystallization in this experiment. And in this experiment, a procedure is given for the preparation of a local anesthetic, Benzocaine. Um, by direct esterification of P-amino benzoic acid with ethanol, at the instructor's option, you may test and prepare the anesthetic on a frog leg muscle. We're not going to be doing that, but we are going to be making Benzocaine. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I have my P-amino benzoic acid right here. This is 1.2 grams approximately. I'll give you the exact measurements at the end of the experiment. This is 12 grams of absolute ethanol. Um, and I'm just going to add it into my 100 milliliter volumetric flask. Some maneuvering here. Oh, I'll let you see it, I guess. Like that. So I'm just going to add those into here. I'll see you guys when that's done. Okay, you can see I added it in here. You see it there at the bottom. Now I'm just going to have to shake this to get it to dissolve completely. So to do that, I'm just going to add a stopper right there on top. Oh, like that. Then I'm just going to swirl and shake. Swirl and shake until I get it to completely dissolve. Just probably switch hands. Oh, too late. So I'm just gonna shake and stir this until I can get it all to go away. Like if you look there, you see it's still some right there at the bottom. Not good enough. So I'm just gonna shake it, stir it. You see, let's see if I can get it to focus. It's just a little less. So I'm just gonna keep going like that. You can imagine what's gonna happen. Eventually it's all gonna go in. Let's see. Oh, we're getting pretty close. bubbles there but very little saw you so maybe a couple more swirls all right let's check I'm not seeing anything are you guys oh maybe some down at the bottom but that might be as good as we get it I think that's as good as we're gonna get it. There we go. All right, on to the next step. All right, now I'm just gonna add one milliliter. Ooh, that's why you have these guys. Don't tell Dr. Nee. All right, now we're gonna add one milliliter of concentrated sulfuric acid. You can see that here. This guy's not, this guy, this stuff is no joke, guys. So be really careful, make sure you're wearing your gloves. We're gonna do 20 drops, all right? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. And you guys got to watch all of that precipitate form after I added it. You see, yeah, so all of that happened after I added it. Um, now I'm gonna add my boiling stones and attach it to my apparatus. Alright guys, here's my apparatus. You see, I got my condenser, I mean my reflux, my boiling stones are in here with, you know, the sulfuric acid, the absolute ethanol, and the P-amino benzoic acid. Um, so to get your apparatus started, I'm pretty sure I've showed you guys this before, but I'm just going to lower that on to my mantle, and you can see that there. Before I turn on the heat, I'm going to come in 
turn on my water. Now, remember, the water goes in at the bottom, in at the bottom, out through the top, okay? So I'm just gonna turn that on. There we go, and I just want a nice, steady ray. See how I'm getting like some gurgling and stuff right there. So I might just turn it up a little more. Perfect. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's coming out the back right there. All right. So I have it going in the bottom, out to the top. Got a constant steady steam stream. Now I'm going to turn my heat on. You can see my heat here. I'm just gonna turn it about to three, maybe four. We'll go five. Sorry, ah, uh, four, mm, four, five. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and then I'm just gonna let this reflux uh, for a little while. Now remember, it's a gentle reflux. Maybe a drop every second would be fine. Uh, I'll let you know if I get that. I'm um, gonna do this for about an hour. All right, here we are after about 30 minutes of uh, refluxing, as the evidence suggests. There was some pretty bad bumping, you can see along the sides. Uh, it looks like they're, you know, it's been splashing up. That's my bad, I probably had it too high, wasn't swirling it enough, but, oh, all in all, it seems pretty good. Um, let's see if I can stir it for you. You see, it's all pretty much liquid right now which is good, it's dissolved. Uh, now I'm just trying to keep the heat on. I have it about a six. I'm getting maybe a drop every three, four seconds, but I'm not sure how much I want. When I really turn the heat up, it'll really bump. So uh, this is just what I chose to do. If your lab instructor tells you to do something different, do that. All right, guys, i uh, finished up. It's been about an hour now. I feel comfortable going ahead and stopping the heat and uh, letting this cool to room temperature. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move that up a little bit. Sorry, sorry. Oh, nope, tighten. Alright, tighten down. I'm going to move my mantle. I'm just going to let that cool for a little while. Actually, just it falls, but it's pretty sturdy. I'm just going to let it set for, I don't know, five, ten minutes, just letting it cool down, um, and then I'll get started with the next part. All right, so I've let it cool. It's cool to the touch, maybe a little warm, but nothing really too bad. Notice I kept my condenser on just because uh, there still might be fumes emitting off. Uh, so make sure to keep that condenser running while it cools. So now what I'm about to do is transfer my liquid into 30 milliliters of water, all right? All right, guys, so I have it here in the mixture that I just pulled from that in here. What I'm gonna do now is add sodium bicarbonate, which is basic, right? Something like that, you know what I'm about to do. I'm about to add it dropwise into this until I stop getting bubble formations and then uh, check the pH. You can see I'm finishing up with the bubble formations right there. Uh, I'd say I've added about a milliliter. Um, I might have to add two. Uh, just trying to get these bubbles to finish away. I think you can see them there. Yeah. Alright guys, so no more frothing. You can see. Looks like I got some, oops, come on, focus, focus. See, I got some precipitate down there, which is good. I already wetted my uh, opener funnel. And I'm just gonna add that gently. Just 
try to pull out. Yep, there we go. So you can see I have my filtrate down there. I have some crystals up here. Let's see if I can focus. Focus. Hello. Yeah, I have some crystals there. I'm just going to let those dry and then recrystallize. I'm just going to rinse these with uh, water just to be sure I get all the sodium sulfate off of them. There we go. Guys, I'm sorry. There we go. No? Hello. Alright, there's crystals in there. Take my word for it. Now I'm just going to let these dry. All right guys, here's my product after I finish letting it dry. See, it looks pretty dry, kind of an off-white yellowish crystals. I think they're pretty pure. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh them out and then I'm gonna uh, get the melting point for you. All right, so here's the product that I got. See, it's flaky, a totally different consistency. Uh, than the original one. Yeah, it's super light, super flaky. You can see these tiny little crystals. So I'm going to do a recrystallization on it um, using the hot methanol and hot water technique. We talked about technique 11. Uh, so I'm about to add it into there, dissolve it in some hot methanol, which I am warming up right now. And then I'm going to dissolve it completely with the least amount of methanol possible uh, and then add hot water to it until the precipitate comes out of it. And then I think I'm gonna use the buffer funnel one more time. All right. All right, I got my product in there. Oh, I'll show you the weight and everything afterwards. I have them written down, but I'm just gonna finish the experiment and give you all the data. So I got it in my Erlenmeyer flask. Open sesame. Boom. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, this is ethanol, that's water. Um, I see I have about 95. These are pretty warm. I mean, not as warm as I'd like them to be, but it is what it is. I'm going to add ethanol until it dissolves, add water to knock it out, and then open our funnel. Okay, I'm filming with my left hand. I'm going to add ethanol. Oh, this is actually methanol. I apologize. All right, I'm gonna swirl, swirl, swirl. Boom, gone. Good job, Storm. Thanks, guys. I did my best. Now I'm just gonna add water. Let's try to knock it out. Oh, please work. guys something anything you guys see anything Alright guys, so this is not going the way I'd like it to. 
I think that's obvious. Uh, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm going to put this in the ice box and pray something happens. So wish me luck. Ice box. Um, our prayer. Get it nice and snug in there. We'll send up a prayer. <sighs> All right. See you guys in a couple minutes. Is it happening? Oh no. I'm not gonna lie. They had us in the first half. Look at that. Look at those crystals. I know y'all can't see, but trust me. We got some crystals. I thought it got me. I thought it finally got me. But I did it. I'm not saying I'm the best organic chemist in the world, but I did that. All right, now that we've uh, all celebrated, I know you guys were hanging on by a thread. You didn't have to wait 15 minutes, I did. But uh, yeah, you're welcome. I did that, not to brag or anything, but uh, that was me. So what we're about to do is just Buckner funnel these so we can get the crystals. And I, I want you guys to see my masterpiece, so we're gonna go ahead and do this. All right, and then you can see the crystals. Come on, don't play. Down there, oh, that's a better view. You see them? Man, isn't that beautiful? So I'm just gonna use some ice cold methanol to wash them out into there. You can also see them in there. And then when you're gonna weigh, you know, you know the drill. All right, I have my crystals right in there. I'm just gonna let them dry out and I'll see y'all at the end. All right, guys. These are the crystals I pulled out. If you get a closer look, you can see they're a lot more uniform. You see they're like little needles running through. Before they were not as uniform as these. I mean, these are even lighter than the ones before. Just super uniform. I'll see if I can get a close up. Oh goodness. Come on, come on, there you go. See how uniform those are? You can see the little, it's made up of just a bunch of those tiny little lines of crystals. Pretty cool, right? Now I'm just gonna weigh these, get the melting point, and then I'll give you the results. All right, here's your results for experiment 47. This is uh, how much P amino benzoic acid I put in initially. This is after the fil first filtration, the very first one. Uh, the more non-uniform crystals before the crystallization I pulled out at about 25-30% uh, with a melting point that was close, not quite. The mass of the crystals after I purified using crystallization um, was 217, I mean 2017 uh, with a 90 uh, degrees Celsius melting point which just means that it's a lot more purified. I don't think the impurities, like the crystallization, lost a bunch of impurities. I think that a lot of it got lost in the methanol because I didn't heat it hot enough um, to use the least amount possible. But there you go, there's your results. Now I'll attach some spectroscopy um, after this.